Okay, here's the test fit on the Civic. Good gap in the door and the fender there. Everything's pretty much where it'll be. We've got the uh, radiator condenser installed. All that's finished. It's full of coolant. Uh, this was a little bit flimsy here. I think maybe the spot weld here just didn't hold or something. Uh, we've got some panel bond between here and this piece, so uh, letting that set up tonight. I'll uh, give it a little more support there for the for the uh, prop rod when he pushed down to clip it in. It was trying to bend it back. Um, new battery. Got the washer, excuse me, the uh, coolant tank full. Got the new AC line in right here. Uh, bumper headlights all line up well. Got good gaps through here. Uh, bumper is almost a perfect fit here to the headlights. Don't have the grill in it, but that shouldn't be a problem. Right here, perfect fit here. Got a good fit on the bumper and the back here at the fender. Uh, the other side, I've got a actually got an aftermarket uh, bumper bracket under this headlight. Um, I've got it marked here in yellow. It's rubbing right here. Won't let the bumper go all the way in. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna shave all this off with the grinder all the way through here, all the way up. Get rid of this lip, and the bumper should sit all the way in. Uh, here's a gap over here. This door, a little hard to see at the bottom there, it being black, but this has to be closed in a little bit. I need to round it off a little more, match the contour here. Uh, this hood was actually damaged in shipping. See the ripples in the middle there? They sent me a new one, I just haven't put it on yet. I used this for fitment. It's the same exact brand and uh, certified part and everything, so it should fit the same. Um, shut the hood. Show you that. Got good fender gaps. Back here, the hood was damaged on the corner, so that's not worth the way it'll be later, but close enough. This one's pretty decent, so I need to rock the hinge. Good gap there, nice and level. I'll readjust the front hood bumpers whenever I get the, the other hood on to get the hinges straightened out, but for the most part, it's coming together pretty nice. Just gonna get everything back off and get it all prepped to paint. All right, got all the Civic parts ready. They've been fit and just took them back off the car. I'm gonna paint everything off the car to keep from having to mask it off. I'm gonna put the sealer on now and then base clear after that.
Alright, I'm going to use up the rest of the base coat that I use on the radiator support. Probably get maybe one coat on, on the underside of this hood. But I'll mix up the, the uh, actual base color for the car and I'll put a little bit more on it. Be right back. That's all the old color I've got. We're going to mix up the, the real color now. Okay, I've got enough color underneath. I'm going to do the top side and then go to the fenders and then the bumper with one coat. And then I'll do at least two with a drop coat on top of that and then clear.
Had a major fry up on the bumper here. Maybe it'll focus on that. We just attacked that cheap primer that was on this aftermarket bumper, even through the sealer. It's not all over it, but it's in a good many places. I'm gonna try to sand it out, but if I don't have time to get all this out today, excuse me, I'll just have to get to this another time. Just put another coat of base or two on it and clear it later on with something else. We'll see what I can get out today. Hopefully I can get done. Alright, this is the first coat of clear. I was able to save the bumper so I'll be able to do it too.
right, I'll put one more coat on in a second and show you the finished product. All right, here's the finished product. We'll get it all back in the car in a few days. I'll be out of town for just a little while. Come back and put it all back together and go get the car inspected so I can get it registered. I used up some old clear coat. I've gone to a better clear and I used the rest of my old stuff on this bumper. I'm trying to get rid of that on something that's not a customer's car. Turned out pretty good. That's where the paint had fried up. You can see it if you're looking for it, but it's not really noticeable. I'm trying to get away with not having to blend this car. We'll get everything on, see how it looks. On these cars that I rebuild, I try not to have to blend on them, it just saves material. If I get it on the car and it's significantly off or something, I'll blend the doors, but I think it'll be fine. All right, I'll show you put together in just a little while here. See you later.